hi, here I am. What are you doing? Ah, oh, you're having a drink. Can I have one too? Hmm, maybe it would be better to have one after our lesson. Today we are going to talk about countable nouns, such as glasses, bottles, and uncountable nouns like wine, champagne, rice, bread, water. Then we will see how we can use the word some with uncountable nouns and any in negative sentences. I'd like to bake a cake. I need eggs, flour, sugar, some milk. Oh, I don't have any butter. Hmm. Lastly, we will see how to ask what time it is and how to answer. What time is it? It's lesson time. In this episode, Elena is getting ready to go out for dinner with friends and she says, I'll only have one or two glasses. Glass, table, dish are countable nouns. A countable noun is a noun that has both a plural and a singular form. One glass, two glasses, one dish, two dishes. Other nouns are uncountable. Uncountable nouns do not refer to individual objects and cannot be counted. Wine, rice, water, money, time, Uncountable nouns are always singular and we need to use the word some. I'd like some wine. You have some money. In interrogative and negative sentences, we put any where the word some was. I don't have any money. Elena doesn't have any time. Okay, is that clear? I hope so. Let's move on to something different. At the beginning of this episode, Elena asks Agatha, What time is it? Do you remember what Agatha answers? Right, it's just after 8. You can say, What time is it? What's the time? Or, Could you tell me the time? The easiest way to tell the time is by simply giving the hour and then the minutes. It's 8 10. It's 9.30. It's 10.45. But you can say also, it's 10 past 8. It's half past 9. It's a quarter to 11. Can you tell me what time it is now? We can use a clock after the number, but only when it is the exact hour. You can say, two o'clock, five o'clock, and so on. The train arrives at 9.15 a.m. The restaurant opens at 7.30 p.m. Do you know what a.m. and p.m. mean? Wow, you are clever. A.m. is anti-meridian and p.m. is post-meridian. So a.m. and p.m. Tell us whether it's morning, afternoon, or evening. By the way, what time is it? Oh, help! I have an appointment with Dylan, and I am going to be late. Bye, and see you soon. At last! You had a long sleep? Yes. What's the time? It's almost 12.30. Oof. It is so nice to sleep. Yes. <laughs> and what about last night? Tell me everything. <laughs> 
There were four of us. Chan, his friend Jerry, and Jerry's girlfriend Kate. Oh, is Kate nice? Yes, she's very nice, very funny. She's at nursing school. Oh, how old is she? Mm, she is 20. And what about your dinner? I like Indian food. It is very... Um, how do you say this? <sighs> yes. Spicy. Oh. <laughs> yes, Indian food can be hot and spicy. Uh, we had some white wine from Kent. White wine with gas? Sparkling wine. Oh. Yes, England does have some very good sparkling wines. <laughs> Jerry and Kate only speak English. That's good practice for you. Yes, but it's very difficult and very tiring. Well, you see we have coffee. <laughs> I need to ask your opinion about something. Yes. <clears throat> Harold says I should get a job too. You want a job? Well, it gets lonely here during the day. Victor and you are both at school. You have a fun job at the video store. Oh, you want to work at the video store too? No. I want to work as a salesperson, selling accessories and, and clothes. Oh, you're good at that. You think so? Yes. Would you work in a boutique? No, I'd like to work in a big store, a department store. Oh. See, I'm a good shopper. I think I'll be a good seller, too. You will be excellent. Help me practice my sales pitch before you leave for work and before Victor gets home. What time does Victor get home? He should be back around 6. Mm, okay. This is the company I'm going to apply to. Mm -hmm. Churchill's. They sell very nice women's clothing. And I should get a big discount myself. <laughs> <clears throat> Can I help you, madam? Um... No, thanks. I'm just looking. Why don't you try on this dress? It suits you. Hmm. It is a pretty dress, but it's too big. Oh, madam, we have it in smaller sizes. Do you have it in another color? It comes in blue, green, and pink. How much is it? Madam, it's on sale. It's only 42 pounds. Hmm. Okay, I'll take it. Very good choice, madam. See, you're a natural salesperson. I'm going to apply at Churchill's tomorrow. Oh, but okay. Don't say anything to Victor. No, I won't. I want to surprise him. Okay. <laughs> Hi there, good to see you. Do you like shopping? We can go shopping together, but first, let's learn some English, okay? Today we are talking about the verb to like and its negative and interrogative forms. Do you like shopping? Agatha likes it, but Victor doesn't like it. After that, we will see the comparison of adjectives. This fork is smaller than the other ones. Then we will talk about prices and how to ask for a price. Finally, you will learn about clothing and colors. We are starting with the verb to like. In this episode, Elena wakes up late Sunday morning after her night out and tells Agatha about her dinner. Can you remember what Elena says about the food? I like Indian food. I like, you like, he, she, it likes, we like, and so on. In English, to like is very much like the verb to love. So you can say, I like sparkling wine, and I love sparkling wine. Do you like sparkling wine? 
This is the interrogative form. Does Eleanor like her friends? Do they like shopping? Does Agatha like staying at home? No, she doesn't. So the negative form is I don't like, you don't like, he, she, it doesn't like, we don't like, and so on. For next time, you could make a list of what you like and what you don't, okay? Agatha tells Elena she'd like to find a job in a department store. So they practice being customer and salesperson. Elena says, that's a pretty dress, but it's too big. And Agatha answers, we have smaller sizes. Do you know what smaller is? Right, it's a comparative adjective. With comparatives, it's very simple. We just add an ER at the end of the adjective. Smaller, bigger, shorter, longer, and so on. I can also say, this is the smallest fork. This is a superlative, right? With the superlative, we add an EST, est, at the end of the adjective. Smallest, biggest, longest. But this is true only for all short, one-syllable adjectives. With longer, multi-syllable adjectives, there's a difference. Let's see some examples. Difficult, more difficult, the most difficult, and expensive, more expensive, the most expensive. Since we are going shopping, as we said at the beginning of our lesson, you have to learn how to ask about prices. How much is this dress? How much is it? How much are those shoes? How much are they? You can also say, how much does it cost? And how much do they cost? If you want to buy some clothes, you will have to ask about size and color too. Do you have a smaller or bigger size? What colors do you have? Do you have green? Do you have blue? It's late. The shops are closing soon. Bye and see you next time.